Hello, my name is Bianca Basher. Today we're going to be exploring the app Jamboard and how we can use that in our classroom for social emotional learning and collaboration. So let's head on over to Jamboard. So I'm going to open up a new tab and on my Google Apps icon, I'm going to open up Jamboard. I first learned about Jamboard whenever um, we were e-learning and didn't really use it that much with students. But when we started back to school, I realized there was a definite need for Jamboard in my classroom because we really could not share materials that much. So it was really important to find other ways for kids to work together and collaborate. And so Jamboard is a perfect way to do that. So here we are on my Jamboard, and these are many ones that I've already made. And so down at the very bottom, there's an orange circle to open up a new Jamboard. So I'm going to click that. And when I open up a new Jamboard, it's going to be a completely blank slate. So I have to build this. And so today I think I'm going to, um, I was thinking about what's coming up in the future and Valentine's Day is coming up and we've been asked to think of other ways for students to exchange Valentine's without actually bringing them from home because we want to stay safe and not share germs. So um, I've come up with this digital Valentine idea. So I started it working on it, my idea, and I'm going to build it here with you today. So the first thing I need to do is I need to set a background and I actually made a background already in Canva and downloaded it. And so I have that ready for you and you can also build one in Google Slides or PowerPoint or whatever. You just need to save it as like a JPEG image and then you'll be able to um, use it. So here's mine and so I'm just going to pull that in and it's going to upload my background. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a page for each one of the students in my classroom. And so to do that, I'm going to click up here on my slides and I need to make this slide about 18 times for each kid. So what I'm going to do is click your three dots and you can duplicate that and you can continue to duplicate for how many kids you have in your class. Just keep going on and on and on. So um, here. I have as many as I need now. And so what I need to do is I need to personalize this for each one of my students so the kids know who they're, who this Valentine is for. And so um, there's many features on here. And so I'm going to use my text box tool. And I'm going to give this first one to Anna. And so I will make Anna's name big so we can see that and know that that's for Anna. And so then I would go to the next slide up here. And then this would be for um, Brad. And so I would keep going and personalize each one of these for students. And so then when I'm done, I would share this um, Jamboard with my students. I would click the share link, um, make sure my privacy settings are the way they need to be and copy that link and um, post that into Seesaw for students. And so they would be able to access this Jamboard. So when they go into the Jamboard, the goal for them is to create the digital Valentine for each student in the class. And so they might use the pen if they're on their iPad to write a note to their friend. They might use the sticky note tab or they might even do just a text box and they could use emojis from their iPad or whatever. So um, so say that um, Anna wants to write um, to Brad for a Valentine and say, you are... A great partner because maybe they're their shoulder partners in the classroom. And then Anna assigns her name to that. And so she can place that wherever she wants to on the Valentine Day card. Okay. And so then um, Anna would keep going and she would go through each jam board and write a special note to everyone in the class. Now this would be need to be done over several time sessions throughout the class or even at home, they could work on this as well with their family. And so what I might would do with this Jamboard is I would um, save this so that students could, or share it on um, Seesaw so they could go and look at their own Valentines. I might print them out for them, post their own personal one on Seesaw. So there's many different options of how you could go after you um, use your Valentine. So this is just one example of something you could do coming up soon with Jamboard in your classroom. 
So again, that's how you can use Jamboard to help with student collaboration and social emotional learning. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our other resources.